What's up my YouTube friends? I have another killer RV to show you. But this thing is teeny tiny. This is like a van on steroids more than an RV. I would say that this is kind of more like a Chinook style but newer because this has the newer front end this is going to be a 2008 and newer rv but it still has more of the smooth body side that you're seeing right here versus a chinook is more of like the fiberglass backs to them so if you're in the market for a small rv you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for this whole video because of course we'll take you guys inside and show you all the cool stuff in there and I already unlocked the door, that way I don't get locked out. So let's go jump into this thing, guys. All right, guys, so we're gonna come up to the front of this thing, and the first thing that I wanna point out to this is you can see just how big this is, all the way from the great state of Washington. I don't know if it's a great state. I've never been there. Maybe you guys that live there, been there, can enlighten me. Comment below, how cool is Washington? Not so cool, I know you guys get a lot of rain. I don't know if I could handle all that rain, but anyways, so we have an Illumines bumper on here. So if you were looking for a giant bumper, definitely you can get one of those from Illumines. And what's great about their bumpers is then it can also, you can put a winch in it. You can see they have their winch. This has got a normal cable versus a synthetic nylon cable. Um, I typically prefer those. I know that's like Ford and Chevy. You're gonna go back and forth on that, whether you like the cable or a synthetic rope. Um, I prefer the synthetic rope, but. The point is, is that you can put a winch in this bumper and that is awesome. It's also gonna give you a ton of protection up front. And if you're not running a winch, what's great about the Illumines bumper is that it provides you storage inside there where you would have the winch and it's lockable right there and it's locked. See, I can't even get in there if I wanted to, but if I wanted to store stuff in there, I could. So enough about the bumper, even though it's cool, it's not as cool as the suspension that we put on that. And what we put on this is our six inch kit. That's gonna be our Baja Grocery Getter kits for our Ford Econolines or E-Series vans, RVs, and anything like 19, 2000 and older. So let's jump in here and check this thing out. So you guys are always asking what we're doing in this. So we wanna show you. So in here, you can see that we're running our Skyjacker coils in here. We've added our Fox shocks to control the ride. And on this particular vehicle, due to the size of it, we've also kept the sway bar where you can see we've dropped the sway bar brackets right here so that they're going into the I-beams in the original location. So if you're thinking about doing this install at your house, in your driveway, in your garage, um, or wherever it may be, this is something that you can do and make sure that your garage is really tall because I would hate for you to put the lift on in your garage and then not be able to get it out of your garage just saying so um, we've also added the fox steering stabilizer on here on the front which is really nice um, you can see that on here that we are running a set of race line wheels very similar to like the method con 6 when you get into the wheel in that bronze wheel uh, this already had these on here so back to the lift kit because i forgot to mention the one of the most important things is the extended radius arms and brackets and what's great about those is you can see running this larger tire on here where you can see where it used to want to rub here you can see where it rubbed in the past well that's going to just be a thing of the past where it has even more clearance so that if they wanted to run an even bigger tire they would have the ability to do so with this new lift kit on there so all of these components are from Wild Tech Designs. We can send you this all in a kit form or you can bring it to us and we can install it for you. So in the back of this thing, this thing comes in at, man, it was like 8,000 pounds, I wanna say. I don't know, it was heavy. Um, but in the back, let's go check that out, show you guys what we did back there. So due to the skirting on this thing, it's gonna make it really difficult to kind of get in there and see the lift that we've done. Um, but I can tell you all about it. We've done a progressive leaf pack in the back of this. So in the back of this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a 10 leaf pack. And while I was checking, counting that leaf pack, did you guys check out that sweet hat? Yeah, look at that. You guys know you need one of these. And if you need one, go to our website. I'm gonna smack Austin again. Smack, 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 smack. And make sure that he puts a link down below so that you guys can go get a growing up garage hat and give it to that special person 
who loves learning about tools and trucks and the garage. So in the end, what we did back here is then we added a set of Fox shocks to the back of this to control it and give it the height. Now, this thing has a ton of room still in this wheel well, which is nice so that if you wanted to run a bigger tire back here, and what one big difference is between this one and a lot of the RVs is that you will get a lot less room because of all the other components that are normally underneath this, which is really nice in this particular model. There is a ton of room in this wheel well. I definitely like that. And you could, man, it almost looks like this was like a, like it would have been a dually rear end and somebody converted it. Um, you can tell though, um, a lot of you guys ask, here, let's talk about this real quick. A lot of you guys ask if you have a full float rear end or a semi float um, rear end. And if your rear end looks like this and not like this, but anyways, really guys, that <laughs> rear end right there, this is a full floater. And you can see that um, is a lot bigger than if you had a semi float, it would be flat. Uh, you wouldn't have anything protruding outside of the rim. So little two cents on just quick if you're trying to figure out if you have a full float or semi float uh, rear end. So that's what we did to the suspension on this thing. We got this thing up, gained a lot more ground clearance on that, which is on this, which is going to be huge. I will point out that is right behind Austin. You can see, I think another cool thing about this is that the poop tanks are up in the middle of this versus in the back. So you're not gonna have problems where in a lot of these RVs where the tanks are in the rear and that this is going to be hanging really low, it wasn't really an issue with this particular coach. And I love just the plain white on there. It's just a blank canvas ready for some stickers and craziness. Speaking of stickers and craziness, boom, check out that new sticker right there. So if you have an RV, you know who to come to. We're gonna be the RV suspension specialist, but Let's go check out how cool this thing is inside. For all of you overlanders out there, maybe you're gonna wanna read this book, How to Stay Alive in the Woods. Um, I don't know, I've never read it, but it's in here. And they have an awesome dollar bookmark, you know? So better than two cents, so it might be worth reading. So some of, someone's, someone out there in YouTube land has to have read this book and tell me like, yeah, it's awesome or no, it's not. But anyways, back to this cool coach in here. This thing is really, really nice. It's small, compact, but it's like the essentials in here. If you are a family of four or a family of two and you're just wanting to travel, I mean, I like this. It almost has like a booth style bench in the back where your table is gonna rotate up and out over into the middle for your eating. But then this is also gonna be able to convert into a bed, which is gonna be you know, I mean, that's ideal if you're going to have kids, you want to put your kids to bed back here. Um, and I want to point out this is this is something that you don't even get in a lot of RVs that we go through is that this is going to have an oven, which is going to be really nice. A lot of the class C's that we go into do not have ovens. It's just cabinets. You always have that as an option. And maybe for some of you, you don't even like cooking in your oven. Um, it's also we have the microwave. We're going to have our freezer and refrigerator over here, which is going to be childproof. So all kinds of good stuff in there. Ooh, still cold. So very nice. Going to have a big pantry in order to put your stuff. And another thing is I'm going to have to switch spots with Austin now is this RV also has a COVID bathroom. And if you don't know what I mean, that means when you're out of toilet paper, you can go and sit on the toilet and then use the shower head to wipe or wash yourself. We could call it a European style bathroom because you don't need toilet paper in this bathroom. Or when you're done going to the bathroom, you can just take a shower. So definitely cool. You're not gonna get that in a lot of like the Sprinter van conversions or if you do, a lot of them are a lot smaller. Austin and I are gonna head down to the RV place. We're gonna have to just go check out Sprinter vans. I'm gonna throw up a card right here so that when we do that video, it's gonna be like, whoosh, there it is, card. We're gonna go check out Sprinter vans at the RV store to be like, yeah, these things are cooler. No, they suck. Anyways, just my opinion, you know, opinions. What are opinions? So very cool, still a lot of room for a, such a small coach. 
And then what is even better about this is you're going to see this full size queen bed up here, a ton of space, easily fit two adults up here, no problem whatsoever. That is really nice because if you are just two people, you're not having to convert your bed in a daily, you know, like, okay, we're getting up. We got to get rid of our bed in order to eat. If you're going to be staying inside, depending on the weather. Um, and then I really like the hardwood floor that they've done in here. This is really nice. And then we just have our driving compartment, super simple. Um, this passenger seat, I think is on a swivel. I don't know, might not be. Um, if it wasn't, that would be the one thing that I would add to this would be putting this seat on a swivel so I could kind of hang out and look back um, towards the back. Um, kitchen, sinks, more storage space. Overall, I'm going to have to say that I dig this thing a lot. I mean, I'm into these RVs. I love RVs and RVing. Um, but I like just how small this is and how perfect this is for like two or four people. So. I think that is all I have for this video. Again, guys, let me know, are you enjoying my craziness and the inside tours of these to get an idea of what's going on in them? Or could you care less and you just wanna see the outside? Comment below, let me know what you think. And while you're down there, smash that subscribe button because I had to have at least been somewhat entertaining, maybe. So I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs. You just got to see this awesome RV and a Baja Grocery Getter kit. That's all I got, and I will see you later.